Hello, beautiful people. So I really want to share with you a, a concept that you will be hearing me talk about more and more and that we dove into in our inner circle. So we're not going to go into the whole deep dive today, but I do want to share with you this most important piece. When we talk about sovereignty, what we're talking about is taking radical personal responsibility in a way that supports you in your evolution and helps you step out of being a victim. So the first thing I wanna say is sovereignty is not self-blame. Take that in. Taking personal responsibility, what's my piece here, what's my part here, is not the same thing as blaming yourself and taking responsibility for every piece of everything that ever happens. It's about taking ownership of what is on your side of the street. So if, for example, you actually tend to be someone who does take the blame and you're like, it's actually time for me to say, this isn't mine, this is yours. If we choose to see ourselves as separate for a moment. Maybe sovereignty for you means not taking all the blame and saying, hey, you're letting yourself get sucked into this as if it's all on you. And sovereignty is, I'm going to own what's mine and I'm going to leave the rest behind. Sovereignty in this case might actually be you taking less blame. So asking yourself, what's my part here, empowers you to make more aligned choices and reminds you that you are not a victim. And the thing is, victimhood, being a victim is so deeply ingrained in every single one of us, even on the most subtle, subtle, subtle level. Sometimes I'm like, ah, there I am pretending because it's an illusion to be a victim. And this stems from even the way we are born into this world, not knowing how to do so much for ourselves, literally, you know, wanting a cookie or an apple and it's physically out of our reach when we're little, 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 we have to wait for permission to do this or to do that or what time we can go there. It's, 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 it's just the way it is. I see, you know, I do this also with my children. There are limitations. There are times of things, times that things happen, times things don't happen. It's just what being a human is. It's being born into a body that isn't physically capable of very much and where people govern what you are and aren't allowed to do. So being at um, someone else's mercy in a way, although, you know, our caretakers can love us very much, but being at someone else's worst mercy, waiting for someone else to take ownership is so deeply ingrained in our being simply because of the fact of how we're born into this world without our full physical capacity, our full sovereignty and autonomy. But we get to take that back. So a radical question to ask yourself, if you're willing to go here with and just play into the power that's actually available for you, you can ask yourself, what's in this for me? And if you're willing to go even deeper, what am I seeking to learn, heal, and understand by inviting this situation or this person into my life? And see what unfolds from there and see how practicing this might elevate you to the highest frequency of love. I hope you can receive this and take it in and take a deep breath and sit with it and let it land. So much love.